guys, welcome back to the cockpit. Just running through checklists here. Fun flight today, I'm actually headed out to Tennessee, taking my parents up there to see a friend for a day. Um, we got a nice lake house, so hopefully I'll get some fishing in. We will see. Um, but for me, really, it's about the flying. But first, we have a quick hop over to Walterboro, which is Low Country Regional Airport. That's where I did my instrument check ride and my commercial check ride, so kind of a um, sentimental airport for me. We're gonna pick up my parents. It's a little bit closer to them, so quick hop. It's a 10 minute flight. Thought it'd be a cool idea to show you guys an uncut flight, take off to landing. Uh, we'll just cut out the boring stuff like engine and warm up, things like that, but you guys will see everything uh, from start to finish. So going through the checklist, just did my pre-flight check, before engine check, switches, avionics, master. Uh, just check my circuit breaker, safety belts are on, gear lever, another check there. We have clearance, parking brake control, not using it right now. I do feel my brakes though. Bit. Props full, cow flaps are open. Confirm fuel totalizer, cabin heat, and cabin air are where I want them for now. We're gonna need a little heat today, so we'll get that where we think we need it. No passengers yet, but we'll do a safety briefing once my folks get here, or once we pick them up rather. Master press to test fuel quantity, throttle mixture beacon. So, master is on, press to test here, fuel quantity working. Uh, throttle will crack it, beacon coming on. And here we go. All right, clear. All right, need a little bit more on it. Two, three, four, five. There we go. That'll fire. So just loaded up my flight plan here, Delta Yankee Bravo to Romeo Bravo Whiskey. I always like to look at this as a simple flight plan. I know where the airport is, it's really close, but um, good habit to look at the flight plan after you load it. Make sure you didn't load something you didn't accidentally mean to load. Make sure it makes sense, the direction you're flying, all that stuff. Uh, I don't have a smart airplane anymore, so I have to manually put my flight plan in here. B to KRBW. Double check that, Stop makes left. sense, good to go. Sorry. All right, back to the checklist. All right, so boost pump is off, we know that. Uh, mixture controls, where I want it for now. Boost pump prop, uh, this is the startup procedure where you did that stabilizer trim. I always check it three, a couple times before we take off. That's good, I checked that pre-flight as well. Warm up and taxi, lights, avionics master is good. Transponder squawk in 1200, we'll get our weather real quick. 119.57. Somerville Airport, automated weather observation, 1, 2, 1, 6, Zulu. Wind, calm, visibility, more than 1, 0. Sky condition, clear, below 1, 2,000. Temperature, 7 Celsius. Dew point, 6 Celsius. Altimeter, 3, 0. 1, 8 inches of mercury. Nailed it. I was trying to guess the... Uh altimeter setting before they tell me so it is beautiful weather today it could not be a more perfect day to fly there's not a cloud in the sky it's going to be low winds all the way to tennessee it's going to be beautiful so that's what i was expecting um calm winds greater than 10 miles of visibility clear skies very way to the altimeter altimeter set sentries on four flight is connected I already checked that flight plans loaded rain calc again i just get in the habit of doing this not necessary i don't think anyone's even ever had had a no rain in the united states a buddy of mine told me he's had it once, but he was uh, overseas flying, so autopilot will check that. So autopilot comes on, we'll sink our heading. It should go left. Now it should go right. It is. Disconnect. And electronic trim, I'm checking it, feeling it down here. That works too. Initial altitude bug. We're just going to go to 2,500 feet today. Um, like I said, it's a really short flight. So parking brake, tow brakes, gyro instruments are working. I'm going to check all my instruments. Gyro instruments is electric. We're going to check that. 
that's what I expect this is not set see I forgot to do that there we go now that's set vertical speed is showing zero autopilot's good uh, that's set up we'll set up our because uh, it is such a short flight it, you always want to get in the habit of getting everything ready uh, for the next airport so 11872 again it's really not that big of a deal because the weather is like perfect today but you don't don't break habits just because the weather's good right all right my idle came up a little bit there because we're warming up now so bring that back down all right fuel selector valve prop now we're ready for a run up and i'm gonna do a run up here um engine oil is at about 100 degrees which is fine with me I like to do the run up at the hangar if I can. That way, uh, something's wrong and just put it right back in. Alright, 1700, everything's in the green. We got bolts, we got amps, nothing unexpected on the EGTs or CHTs. Two left. There's my drop. Two right, comes back up. One left. There's my drop. One right, comes back up. A little more juice for the prop. RPM manifold pressure and oil pressure change there. I recently started doing this only one time. A lot of people do three prop. Uh, I ask myself, why are you doing it three times? If you verify it, it works, then it's gonna work. So I don't do it three times. Sometimes I'll do it two if uh, I have any questions, but one time. Traffic, good it's good enough. Air meter, left, right, mags, prop, 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 or throttle, we're all good. Flight control, stabilizer, trim, fuel sector handle is the only things I'm going to check right now. Fuel sector handle, I should be burning off the right. I am, it's what I have written down. That's what I saw in the tank. Flaps will go one. Uh, and stabilizer trim, I just checked it. I'm not, I'll check it again. Why not? There we go. We're good to go. We're good for taxi. Parking brake comes off. Traffic, two, three, 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 five, nine, nine, two, four. Everyone's using two, four. You guys can hear them. Relean for ground operation. Basically, like, your engine should almost be dying on the ground for how lean you run it. All right. We're good, we're gonna avoid this here. We got a quick call. Somerville traffic, Mooney 811, rear hangar, taxi runway 24, Somerville. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this flight. I actually took two weeks off of flying. Um, didn't plan to, just kinda happened. Had a bunch of stuff going on. And the last time I flew, I, I took my son up to do his science fair project. We did a, a science fair project where we saw uh, what was the question we asked? How does an airplane's speed affect its glide distance, um, or its its uh, altitude loss while gliding? So we went up and tried different different speeds at uh, with the engine at idle, and I had my son run the stopwatch and check how long it took us to clear left, clear right, to lose 1,000 feet. It was really fun. We did it on the flight simulator the night before, and then did it uh, in the airplane in real life, and it was pretty cool. He was surprised at the result. So we took it all the way to the stall horn um, speed wise and uh, we got some cool results. All right, clear left, clear right. Yeah, it's been two weeks. A lot of times, even after a week, I feel pretty rusty, but um, I don't feel all that rusty today. I feel pretty clear, well rested. Feel good, clear left, clear right. Clear left, clear right again. We're going 2 4, that's right. Turn right back to Turner Chilo, the Baltic area on Valid. Alrighty. Quick hop over to Walter Burrow. Maybe fill up our coffee. Oh, by the way, it's also Friday. It's Good Friday. So I'm usually at work right now, but we have off. Company gives us off for Good Friday. I'd argue that this is a great Friday, actually. But... All right, that engine oil is creeping up to past 140 now, 141. I love it. My gauge usually reads 180, 185 in cruise, which you add 20 to that to um, do what the, uh, the hottest temperature of the oil is. And basically, you want that to be over 212 degrees so you burn off any moisture or boil off any moisture in the oil because um, the spot where the oil is measured is uh, cooler than the hottest spot of the uh, or where the oil is boy I'm not articulating that very well am I you get what I'm trying to say though not if it says 212 here you add 20 and it's actually 240 which is kind of hot 
All right, here we go. All right, so flaps are good. Mixture, we'll do that. And our final one, prop, good. Cow flaps are open. Our boost electronic fuel pump, we'll do that. Our final flow, beacon light and nav light, lane lights, we'll do that. Final flow, your belts are good. Door, confirmed, windows closed. Uh, retraction lever, just checked it, but we'll check it again. We have clearance and toga button is pushed. I'll be flying today. I'm the only one in the cockpit. Departure plan today is easy. It's just going to be straight out, slight right turn over to Walterboro. Uh, we'll expect calm winds, so maybe we'll make straight in. Uh, expect the engine to die, to die on takeoff. When it does, push forward, no hesitation. Uh, so there it is, and then find a place to land. Anything happens uh, on the runway, we're going to come to a stop. We expect to rotate before the 1,000 foot markers today. It's just me in the plane. We're not, we're not at full fuel, and it's cool outside, so we should have really good performance. We should be rotating about 700 feet or earlier. Happens on the runway, come to a stop. Happens after we get in the air. If we have usable runway, we'll put it back down. If not, take it straight ahead. There's no good options off runway 24, so we'll fly to the crash site. Um, any questions? No? All right. That's our pre-takeoff checklist. Here we go. All right, so fuel pump, landing light, mixture, flaps are good. Re-incorrect. Here we go. Supperville traffic booty, 79811, taking off 24, straight off departure, Supperville. Finals clear. I gotta take off my hat after we get in the air because my noise canceling is not working. Hat on. Alright, here we go, guys. 2 4, final check. That feels good. Get lined up here. Move it up. Here's 50% off the brakes. Alright, engine looked good. Feels good. Everything's green. Airspeed's alive. There's 70 already. Off the ground, 700 feet, like I said. Kept the brakes. Positive brake. Gears coming up. Gears up and locked. Oh my god, it is so smooth today. Flaps up. A little bit of forward trim to compensate for the flaps. Didn't even feel it. out of the engine right now because we're not going to be climbing that high. Lean it out just a little bit. Really like it when everything's looking. Cool. All right, let's jump right over to the weather then. Three, eight, blue, weather, four, three, four, zero, at three, visibility, one, zero, Clear, low, 1, 3, 1,000, temperature, 7, Celsius, 2.4, L, temperature, 3, 0, 2, 0. Alright, 3, 0, 2, 0, they're using, I don't know what runway, 1, 2, 2, 8. Uh. Oh, looks like they're using 3.5. Perfect. Alright, we're going to overfly the airport midfield, cross the runway, left turn for runway 35. Coming up to our altitude, and again, we're ahead of schedule. It's a short flight. I'm pulling it way back. I don't want to go fast at all today. I'm going to spend as much time in the air as I can. Okay, three, two, seven, we got eight, three, 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 three. 
Stay looking like the uh, free thumb. There we go. 58% power, 2400 RPM, 7 gallons an hour. That's what I like. Checklist. Alright, well that's going to happen there. Towel flaps. Okay, so cruise checklist, manifold pressure prop mixture. That's what I want them. Towel flaps are closed. Power boost, autopilot, boost pump. All good. We don't need power boost, autopilot's on. Boost pump's good. We're going to overfly midfield, so we're going to go direct. We're back. Below country. Always verify that that is left traffic, and it should be. It is. Get up on traffic here this morning, actually. That'll be fun. Got the airport in sight already. Got that heat rolling. Feels so good. Oh, yeah, baby. So, whenever I fly, I try to take a minute to realize and appreciate what I'm doing right now. So, I'm flying an airplane to a, a local airport to pick up my parents, my mom and my stepdad. And we're gonna go fly to Tennessee for the day to visit her friend at a lake house. I got a fishing pole in the back. My wife is going to the gym right now with the kids. Everyone's happy. They're going to a park afterwards. Everyone's just great, beautiful outside. It uh, almost feels like you can't appreciate it enough. It blows my mind. It blows my mind. All right, let's get back on the flight here. So we want 1,100 feet for pattern altitude, but we're gonna go plus 500. Kilo delta is kind of left base, all the way three five low country. So we're gonna pass over it. That uh, there's too many people in the pattern to enter directly on the go and we see that. Coming across over at uh, across over at uh, 1600. 500 feet a minute down. I don't need to touch any of this because we're already going slow. Not going to overspeed it. Not going to need to change this. If my mixture setting starts protesting me a little bit, we'll bring that in, but it's only a thousand feet, so I doubt that's going to happen. Barely enough time for the engine to get warm. Low country traffic booty. Seven nine or eight one one six miles north northeast. Going to overfly the field. Enter left downwind runway three five for a full stop. Low country. All right, coming up to 1,600 feet. That's 500 feet above pattern altitude, which is what I think the safest thing to do today is. I'll usually try to enter the pattern direct and avoid the teardrop, but today, these sound like student pilots flying in the pattern here. I'm gonna fly over them, above the pattern altitude, get eyes on them, cross over, teardrop in. I got one on the runway in sight and the one on downwind in sight. And low country traffic. Booty 79 or 811, three miles north northeast. Uh, gonna overfly the field. Uh, 1600 feet, then right through drop into the left downwind. The 3 5, we have both the upwind traffic and the traffic about the turn base inside low country. They got one touch and go left, and they're leaving, and this guy's on upwind. So, oh, from executive, sundown or turning left downwind, runway 27, so from executive. Alright, so landing light can come on. Gas on the tank that I want. Undercarried, but your prop and switch is all to go yet. Low country traffic, 382 kilo delta, turn a little cross, 21 way 35, low country. Got one turn in left crosswind. Low country traffic, 3811, over climb, midfield, 1600, right to your drop, to the left downwind, 35, low country. Man, low country always has so, so many cool airplanes. Golf stream down there and a bunch of jets. So, we're in Walterboro, South Carolina. Traffic. Middle of nowhere. Oh, two got the chemical in Delta. I have a sight. Lockdown 135, we got the food moving right over in the uh, over the field. Don't stick. All right, um. There's always a bunch of jets here, and I was always wondering why are there so many private jets coming to Walterboro? Well, there's a DPE out here that does check rides. Or, I don't know, private jet. I think you have to be checked annually. Whatever it is, there's someone out here that does trading and checks for the for those. So they're always flying in here, and you always see a really cool airplane when they come out here. All right, autopilot's coming on. Let's fly this thing. That traffic just went under me, so I am good to start my turn and my descent. 
Low country traffic, 3811, right gear drop, put left down, went tree five. Low country. All right, we're going down to 1100 now. Charleston Executive Traffic, 522, Quebec Series, uh, less than the latitude, turn in 10 mile final, 27, Charleston Executive. Low country traffic, Scotty, Scotty on the go, and we'll see you Low country traffic. Get 2 kilo delta, turn left, 8-1, wait, 3-5, low country. Low country traffic, Moody 811, left, downwind. Traffic, 11 o'clock, 2 miles, 600 feet below. I just exactly hit that guy's awake that was on downwind before me. Hit it exactly. Traffic, 7 o'clock, quarter mile, same altitude. Yeah, that's what you are at me. Alright, let's get it slowed down here. Okay, got it, got it. Alright, establish on downwind. Let's wait for the numbers for below gear speed. There's tree 5. Downwind. Up the gear. Down lock, pulled, and indicating. Oh, touch traffic, three, two, three, two, three, 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 Low country traffic, Mooney, 811, left bait, 35, full stop, low country. Johnson Executive Traffic, 522 Quebec Series, a definite latitude on a 5 mile final, runway 27, sharp. Alright, gas is good, undercarriage is down here and indicating. Anthony will be touching up here on 35. Roger that, I think. Oh, got gotcha you in sight. Cool. So he's pretty close to me, so I'm going to slow down. Go get the reaper job. That's gone. 500. Look at your traffic lead. When we're turning to final three five, we have traffic on the runway. Trusting, so nine o'clock, one mile, one thousand feet above. All right, short flat. final runway three five. Trusting, negative traffic, five two two, Quebec series of fifth or latitude, three mile final, two seven. Trusting, three five. Low country traffic, three two kilo delta on the runway, three five. Low country. No way we can make that first taxiway, and the second taxiway has an airplane holding on it, so we'll go for the third one. Alright guys, two weeks, and haven't landed in two weeks, so let's see how we do. 3-5 confirmed, gear is definitely down. Final check's complete, we're gonna land. Slow it up here. Approaching runway zero, entered runway zero five, four thousand seven hundred feet remaining. Low country traffic three eight two kilo delta is turning left crosswind runway three five low country. Traffic Moody 811, clear tree 5, low country. Okay, so fuel pump comes off, land leg comes off. Reset our trim here, that's where I like it. Mixture's back, flaps are good. Props where I want it. Quick check around, clear left, clear right, let's roll. Low country traffic Moody 811, taxi into parking, low country. I'm half hour ahead of schedule, which is I like. Wow. A lot of
lot of jets here today, guys. Damn. I love me a Piper Saratoga. Oh, that's a Lance. Same thing. Those are awesome. Six seats. Good cruise speed, retractable gear. Big back door, good for the whole family. Is that better than the 836 Bonanza? Maybe you can get them a little cheaper, I don't know. Front row parking, come on. Low country traffic, 32 kilo deltas, turn to left base, front way 35, low country. Come on with this. Check Avionics coming off. I'll talk to you guys in a minute. All right, guys, that is it. That's a shutdown procedure. Leave this where it's at for a hot start. Hope you guys enjoyed that quick one. Uh, take off to landing, uncut. I'm looking at the camera. That was only 33 minutes, so um, total time. So I don't know what the video ended up being, but 33 minutes total time from camera on to on the ground. If you guys like it, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram if you want to. All that jazz. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.